Okay, so we have example number 1.5. The world's largest cut diamond is the first star of Africa. Its volume is 1.84 cubic inches. So what is its volume in cubic centimeters? So here are the conversion factors for this one. So here, first things first, I'll, we'll just have to copy cubic inches to 1.84 cubic inches. So we're going to multiply an important unit conversion here. So again, in order to this cubic inches to be cancelled out, so we're going to write here inch, right? And then the desired unit in cm. Okay, in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. So here we can cancel out this inch here but there's a problem only one is being cancelled here one inch long so what what we are going to do is simply we'll find ways to cancel that one out so kindly listen in order to totally cancel out this cubic inches here i'm going to cube the entire part enclosed in this parenthesis here okay so here rewriting this equation you'll have 1.84 cubic inches quantity okay you'll have distributing all the cube here so you'll have 2.54 cube cubic centimeter all over 1 raised to the power of 3 and then you'll have cubic inches okay so now you could able to cancel out this inches here okay and then 1.84 times 2.54 raised to the power of 3 so the answer will be 30.2 cubic inches so that is equivalent to 1.84 cubic inches. Next, convert 1.84 cubic inches to cubic meters. So we already know that 1.84 cubic inches is equivalent to 30.2 cubic inches. So we're going to write here. Convert that one to cubic meters. Okay. So here, we're going to rewrite 1.84 cubic inches is equivalent also to 30.2 cubic centimeters. So there's an important conversion factor here that one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. So we're going to multiply an important conversion factor here. So just like we've done in the previous, so you'll have CM here in order to cancel out this one, and then meters in the numerator. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. And then, don't forget, this is cubed, so you'll have to cube the entire quantity that is enclosed in the parenthesis. So you'll have 30.2 divided by 100 and then cube. So that would be 3.02 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters. So I forgot to cancel out this one. Oh. Okay, 1 raised to the power of 3, take note, it's, it's still equal to 1. So 1.84 cubic inches is equivalent to 3.02 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters. Next, convert 1.84 cubic inches to cubic meters. So we already know that one point 84 cubic inches is equivalent to 30.2 cubic inches. So we're going to write here. 
convert that one to cubic meters. Okay. So here, we're going to rewrite 1.84 cubic inches is equivalent also to 30.2 cubic centimeters. So there's an important conversion factor here that 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. So we're going to multiply an important conversion factor here. So just like we've done in the previous, so you'll have CM here in order to cancel out this one, and then meters in the numerator. So in one meter, there's 100 centimeters. And then, don't forget, this is cubed, so you'll have to cube the entire quantity that is enclosed in the parenthesis. So you'll have 30.2 divided by 100 and then cube. So that would be 3.02 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters. So I forgot to cancel out this one. Okay. 1 raised to the power of 3, take note, it's, it's still equal to 1. So 1.84 cubic inches is equivalent to 3.02 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters.